architecture, the language of construction. It's awesome because it's such a spectacle. It's an opened floodgate for the raw creativity and the stunning ability of architects and craftsmen alike. From the towering spires of Dubai or the fantastic fun and creativity of the new central library, architecture allows us to experience a sense of awe and wonder in a way that's totally unique to our experience. The way in which we can portray austerity, fluidity, foreboding, or welcome reminds us that architecture is ultimately just a big sculpture. And it's people who forget this that make boring buildings. It reminds us how far we've come scientifically, from mud huts and hovels to the titans of glass and steel which sway like trees in the wind. These buildings inhale and exhale unendingly, providing life and warmth to those in their hollow but welcoming hearts and chests. And as marvelous as this is, one can only wonder at what the next century will bring us. Of course, the obvious assumptions are that in addition to circulatory and sensory systems, our buildings will become more and more computer integrated until they gain some form of sentience, truly alive organisms, much like our own bodies. For now, however, I think it's enough to look around us and see these incredible ideas brought to life and remember that all of this started with one or two people piling one stone on top of another, one brick of ice, one globule of mud. Remember the power of collaboration the power of vision. See you next time.